All right, hey guys, if you clicked on this video, you probably want to know how to get um, Spirit Tune. And uh, I'll be showing you guys like uh, just the steps you have to do and some tips that um, that might help you guys out. So first, you're going to need an odd keystone. Um, and in order to do that, you're going to have to come um, over here to Route 207. Now, you can also uh, find it through the, like, uh, when you're in the underground and you're doing like the, the mining section, you can find one. Um, I heard that it's significantly easier to find it after the post game if you're gonna do it that route But I think just doing it this way is way easier um, If you go to route 208 and you find this man right here He find he um, He'll give you the odd keystone. So just go to this guy right here Right next to the honey tree. He just kind of hit it in the corner. He'll just give you the odd keystone So that's definitely like the the first step that you're gonna want to do um Next up, now this is kind of uh, optional. Let me just take the bike so it's a bit faster. Um, so this step is a bit optional, but I like to save it right next to the hollowed um, tower, just because uh, once you do that, um, if you're not keeping notes of like what people you're meeting, um, being able to like come up and just talk to the tower and see how many uh, people you're missing will definitely help. So uh, the hollow tower, depending on how many people you've spoken to, it'll say different things. Um, I'll show you guys on the screen right now. So this is the chart that tells you like the list of how many people uh, you've talked to and how many. Um, and this is the phrase that the hollow tower would say, um, depending on how many people that you have met. Um, so yeah, you got to meet um, 30, 32 people in order to get uh, this hollow tower to uh, provide the the spirit tomb so first make sure to put the odd keystone in here i already have it in here i already have it all um set up and ready um that's how i was able to do this um and then you're going to want to dig down um you can do this either with the internet on or without i know some people like to do it without it just because they don't want to get distracted um but i found that it was pretty cool to do like extra um like an extra sort of um like a challenge so as you can see in the like top left uh, um, once you reach 40 that's when you unlock the potential to get like the shiny statues and i would do that occasionally um while i was doing this just because it can it can, this can get pretty boring and uh, if you're doing this like before uh the post game it'll take a while to do this it'll take a while so you're probably gonna want to have something playing in the back so once you have it ready um Basically, uh, I think you guys know this, but you're just gonna have to come to one of these areas and you're just gonna find um, a person to talk to and that'll count as one. So let me see. I kind of know this route, like the spawns on this uh, section. So I know that if nobody spawns on that side, then uh, somebody will either spawn. There's still two more spawns in this section where they can spawn. And it's usually Seamus that spawns here. Um, so he has to be right here so there's Seamus yep so usually um, there's gonna be one guy that's like set on the certain spot right so in this spot you might find Seamus more often on this spot you'll find Emmy more option or more, more often so uh, as you can see in the top left of the screen so this section um, that is like I guess uh, as you I'll show you guys with like the character but this section think of it as like being cut out this little part is like cut out from the rest of the of the um, underground cave and this part is just like where one person can spawn and this one person which you saw is Seamus um, he can rotate now the thing is um, there's different areas where you can find like different people and there's people that are more common in different sections um, and I kind of know a few um, but typically the way I went around it or went about it is that I just stayed in one section and I found um, a few people here so um, the way I did with this um, was that with Seamus uh, I would just rotate so usually I would go in and out of here because it resets it now I'd say a good amount of the time you're gonna see Seamus um, but eventually you do get a different person so let's see if we get lucky this time um, if we don't then I'll just like cut to it and show you guys like when you can get somebody else. But yeah, you definitely you definitely do this. So I did this um, in this section, and it'll typically 
typically so that, that's Seamus. So you typically do this over and over until you find I say a good I know you can go up to like seven people that you can find different people here. But usually when I exhaust the area I just rotate to a different area. Just so that uh there's more potential people and you don't want to risk like re repeats because there are kind of repeats in certain sections. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this until I find another, a different person and then I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so I found a different person. So here is Don. So as you can see, Don is in the exact same spot. You can see in the map, it's the exact same spot. It took me uh, three tries to get him. Um, but yeah, definitely keep note of what people you're meeting. Make sure you have like a little uh, list just with their names. Just write that down and know that oh in this area um you know you found these people or you don't even have to list the locations just list the names that's what i did um but yeah just do that over and over rotate to different areas and uh you'll find you'll find the spirit tomb but it will take a while um it's not until the post game where you get more areas that are um filled with a lot of different people so if you wanna if you want spirit tomb for your team for the uh gameplay of the you know for the rest of the game then you're gonna have to do this which is what i did i want to have spirit tomb i want to shiny hunt him i want to have him in my team if you don't then i'd suggest just uh waiting till the post game you're gonna have more access to uh different spaces in the map as you can see there's a lot more spaces here uh different parts of the map that you can access and um yeah different parts where you can find them and just to show you guys uh i've only beat the second gym here so that's why um the area is pretty restricted uh but yeah that's definitely like uh, what you're gonna have want to do um so yeah this is a good spot i would say for you to do a few of them um there there's typically like my go-to spots um we're kind of limited um let me show you guys so okay if we go so i'm gonna show you guys like in the, the part of the map but typically on the left side of the map that's where i would rotate for one that's where um eileen would spawn it's like this old lady but you can just rotate that over and over get five or six um come here you can get another um five or six and then you can see like in the sand area that is connected uh over here so you see like this incline going up that area you could rotate for another five or six it's definitely like just a bunch of areas where you could just rotate them over and over um and i just did that and for hours like this takes a really long time guys so if you really want it then do that um but if you don't then like it's definitely a lot of work and i don't even know if it's worth it but i mean i think it's gonna be worth it just because i do want to shiny hunt this um but yeah it's just doing that and then once you do 32 of those you're going to be able to talk to this and it'll give you a different message um as you'll see so i've done my 32 i've written it down i found out 32 and there you can hear spirit tombs cry and there's spirit tomb so spirit tomb uh it's pretty cool if you guys haven't seen the shiny it's pretty amazing um and i'm gonna be hunting this so yeah guys i hope this uh helped you guys um to figure out how to do this it is a uh, uh it does take a long time and i mean if you guys really want the spirit tomb i think it's worth it to do it at this time but um but if not just wait it out uh but yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye